Artist and Crafts online video, Georgia O'Keefe. Action. Hi, Artist and Crafts families. Miss Jackie here. In honor of Mother's Day, today's artist is Georgia O'Keefe. Georgia O'Keefe is widely recognized as the mother of American modernism. If you've been here for a while, you know that Georgia O'Keefe is one of our favorite artists. We featured her in our textured cloud project and our cupcake liner flower card. Georgia O'Keeffe is strong, brave, and confident. Those characteristics come through in every one of her paintings. From her New Mexico landscapes, to her New York skyscrapers, to her most famous enlarged flowers. It's clear when you see an O'Keeffe painting that she believes in her art. To celebrate the moms in our life, we will create a Mother's Day masterpiece that your mom will want to keep forever. For today's project, you'll need paper, green finger paint, a paintbrush, tissue paper, glue, stickers, crayons or markers, and wipes. This is one of our signature projects and really one of my favorites. We've been doing it since Artists and Crafts began and we have hosted many Mother's Day events where uh, grown-ups would come with their kiddos, create a Mother's Day card for the mom, usually the weekend before Mother's Day, so that on Mother's Day you get to spend it with your kiddo and they give you like this really nice card and it was always so wonderful. We've done it at TSK and Mecklenburg's and all these different places in Brooklyn and we cannot wait until it's safe to host them again. Essentially this project is done in two steps. Step one is to paint your kiddo's hand and make the handprint on your card. The second step is to turn that handprint into a beautiful bouquet of flowers. So for this project, you have two options. You could either make a card or make one big masterpiece. We'll show you both options. So to make a card, you take your paper and you simply fold it in half. It went from a piece of construction paper to a very professional card. The one thing we don't want you to forget is to include your child's name and their age on their artwork. There is nothing cuter than their little handprint. And we want you to remember how old they were when they made it, because it's likely you will keep this one forever. If your kiddo doesn't mind and even enjoys getting their hand messy, you'll want to paint their entire hand with green finger paint and then stamp it on the card. So we'll start here. Connor, did you want to go dark green or light green? Definitely light green. Okay. So let's see your hand. Let me take you to the kid's spa. Oop, paint my own hand. How's it feel? It tickles. It tickles. <laughs> Is it hot or cold? Cold. So when you stamp it down, you want your fingers spread out like this. Okay, perfect. One solid. Whoa, perfect. <laughs> the way to make this project look super professional is to have one solid handprint. But we also don't want to limit your child's creativity. So that's why having another piece of paper on standby solves this problem. They can go to town on the other piece of paper and you'll still have your one handprint ready to turn into a flower. It's always important to have wipes standing by for this project because you wanna get the paint off their hands, right? So now in our art class, there are really two different kinds of kiddos. Ones that love getting their hand messy and are all in, and then others that do not like one little thing stuck on their hand at any time. <laughs> <laughs> Both kids are wonderful. So if your kid is the latter, I'm gonna show you what to do to make this project without getting their hands messy. Come on. Please place your hand on this paper. So you'll simply place their hand on the paper and then trace it with a crayon. A crayon's best because it won't make their sides of their fingers green like a marker would. So this is just as adorable. The key to this project is like the cute little handprint of your young child. So even if you have like a one-year-old, this is really fun. Two-year-old, the smaller the hand, the cuter it is, honestly. Um, and then our other tip is if your child doesn't want to do either of these options, you could always have them paint your hand and stamp it down, which is a fun memory. I remember so many times in our in-person art class that the kiddo was not having it and did not want anything on their hands and their mom or their adult would allow them to paint their hand. And then that's also a really nice memory because you'll have this a card with an adult hand printed on it and it will just remind you more about your child and their personality. This project only needs a couple minutes to dry. 
So while you let it dry, you can prep your tissue paper and get ready to create the flowers. All right, so step two is to turn this beautiful handprint into a beautiful bouquet of flowers. And we do that using tissue paper. So I simply cut up all different colors into squares and then we'll scrunch them up and put them at the fingertips. Ooh, I like your technique. I'm gonna do that too. Wait, you weren't gonna do that? Well, I don't think so. I think I was gonna like do a little glue and then do a little thing. And then I'll put more glue and then I'll make it into a circle after Ooh. that dries. Oh, I like that. I'll just dry it into a circle. So don't worry, on Mother's Day you will not be getting a square shaped <laughs> flower. Appreciate that. So to make it even more like a flower, I like to use two different colors. So I'll go around and make the petals in one color and then the middle of the flower in a different color. Just so it really looks like a flower. But you really can't go wrong. I think this I one gave you the wrong. Do all pink. What if I gave you the wrong one and you got a Mother's Day monster? <laughs> I would still love it because you made it. And mothers love anything that kiddos make them. Not anything. Everything. 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 Their kids make. What about a mess? Do you think mothers love when their kids make a mess? Nope. <laughs> All right, so now that we have it looking beautiful like flowers, let's use our stickers to decorate the rest, and then we could use our crayons or our markers to write Happy Mother's Day. Be sure to write a nice message to the recipient. We like to have our kiddo dictate a message as we transcribe it verbatim. It's always fun to remember how kids express themselves at this age. If your child really likes this project, Feel free to make some art for the grandmas and aunts in your life. And there you go, a Georgia O'Keeffe inspired Mother's Day card. And don't forget, we wanna see what you made, so be sure to tag us on Instagram at Artisan Crafts or send me an email, jack at lovejack.com. And we'd love to invite you to join our weekly Zoom classes. They're 30 minutes of live interactive fun. We're currently teaching Wednesday afternoons at 3.30 and Thursday mornings at 10 a.m. The registration link is below. I hope you can join us. Happy Mother's Day!